Gravy train is based in real beef juices. Real beef juices for beefy gravy taste. Ooh, we're shaking our cabooses for real beef juices. Gravy train, all aboard. You know, I've been sitting here staring at the ingredients on this list of gravy train and uh, can't find pento barbitol anywhere. That's pretty odd considering that uh, the Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act requires that all pet foods be truthfully labeled and, of course, safe to eat. So, what the heck? It's a euthanasia drug doing in canned dog food. Okay, so we have recently a fairly large recall of an iconic brand in U.S. pet food, Gravy Train. You saw the 1980s commercial, which was uh, pretty catchy. Um, so we've got uh, various flavors of Gravy Train, Kibbles and Bits, All Roy, and Skippy, canned dog foods. Not all of the canned dog foods, various ones. You can see the full list of products on our website. From what we hear from the FDA, they're withdrawing cans that were made beginning in 2016 to February 2018. And again, Gravy Train, All Roy, Skippy and kibbles and bits canned only if you you know, I have a lot of people writing in they're asking Oh, is, is my is dry food? Has that been recalled? It has not. It's not part of the recall. So the recall is Those four brands certain ones you can go to our website and see exactly the UPC codes This actually happens to be one of the recalled products here gravy train with beef chunks and You can see the UPC code um, matches what we have on our website. I actually picked this up from uh, a local a store that's just a few blocks from me. They're selling this. It was a buck, but I think they, you can generally get them for about 50 cents a can, which is pretty cheap and might explain why they're not exactly the best quality ingredients. So the reason of, for the recall is uh, some testing found low levels of pentobarbital it is a short acting barbiturate and in high doses it can cause death by respiratory arrest how did this get into the dog food that's the million dollar question in short pentobarbital is uh, often used in euthanasias of dogs and cats by veterinarians um, but this isn't the first time that pentobarbital has appeared in pet food. Last year, uh, a company called Evangers came under fire for have also testing positive for pentobarbital. And in that case, unfortunately, one dog died. So this is a crazy serious. Um, even the FDA says there is absolutely no reason no set tolerance for pinto barbital in pet food should not be present in pet foods at all. And here's what Smucker, who produces all of these brands, Gravy Train, Kibbles and Bits, Old Roy, and Skippy. J.M. Smucker says, this isn't up to our quality standards. We sincerely apologize. We take it seriously. We're extremely disappointed. They say that it all leads to one single supplier and a, quote, minor ingredient used by that supplier. I don't know what the minor ingredient would be. So again, let's go back. Speaking of minor ingredients, let's go back to this million dollar question. How did a euthanasia drug get into the dog food? Uh, in short, we don't know. I get, I get asked this a ton. We don't know. Uh, we can speculate. Uh, the horror story is, of course, it's euthanized dogs and cats. There is no basis for that conclusion. 
Um, in the Evangers case from last year that I mentioned, uh, DNA testing eventually revealed no dog or cat DNA. What they found was that in the cans of Avengers beef, they found horse DNA. So horse meat, apparently euthanized horse, horses had been used uh, and mixed in with the beef in Avengers. So maybe there's something like that going on with Gravy Train and these other brands. Um, we just don't know yet. Hopefully there's some DNA testing being done. The FDA is investigating. And um, let's, let's hope we can get some more answers. One other thing I want to talk about is there have been quite a number of recalls so far this year. Nine brands in 30 days. Gravy Train, Kibbles and Bits, Old Roy and Skippy, which we talked about. We've also had Darwin's, which is a raw food. Red Barn Naturals. Beef munchies from Smokehouse Pet Products, Raws for Paws, Just Food for Dogs. Most of those have been because of Salmonella. Only the Gravy Train, Skippy, Kibbles and Bits, and Old Roy canned dog foods that we discussed uh, were affected by that pentobarbital. So, if you have some Gravy Train at home, return your cans for a refund. To get alerts by email, go to pepfol.com slash recalls or find us on Facebook to get alerts directly by messenger.